Introducing the Leadership Development Toolkit, part of an ongoing nonprofit leadership development video series. Wherever we go, we hear the same themes running through conversations. Developing leaders is hard. There's never enough time. I'm not sure what techniques even work. And how can anyone invest in developing their people when they need every incremental dollar to keep programs running? Investment in leadership can feel like a luxury compared with investing in services at the heart of a nonprofit's mission. But failure to invest in leadership as well as services puts the entire mission at risk. Welcome to the Leadership Development Toolkit. The purpose of this toolkit is to walk you through the five processes we've found to be common among organizations that effectively identify and groom future leaders. After completing the toolkit, your organization will have a concrete and actionable plan to develop the leaders your organization will need over the coming years. We call this overarching leadership development plan your Plan A. Succession plans help you replace what you already have, but Plan A will help your organization develop the leaders you'll need in the future as your organization changes and grows. Let's quickly review the five habits of highly effective leadership developers. Number one, engaging senior leaders. Simply building excitement around leadership development within your organization. Our toolkit will help you think through strategies to engage senior leaders, help you design a conversation calendar so that you know what meetings you need to have, how often and with whom in order to keep momentum and focus, and provide a diagnostic survey for your board that you can use as a jumping off point to further engage them in the practice of building leaders. Number two, understanding future needs. First, the toolkit will help you conduct a future needs assessment, where you will identify the critical knowledge, skills, and traits your leadership team will need to develop in order to live into your organization's strategic vision. Then, the toolkit will walk you through the performance potential matrix, a tool that will help you better assess your current employees to help you identify who has the potential to develop those critical skills and eventually become a leader within your organization. Number three, developing the leaders themselves. Leaders are not born, they're made. And they're made primarily through well-designed, on-the-job experiences supported by mentoring, coaching, and formal training. The toolkit will introduce a new kind of development plan called a 70-20-10 plan and walk you through the process of creating a 70-20-10 plan for one of your direct reports or for yourself. Number four, making external hires. Even the best prepared organization can't always develop all the leaders it needs through internal development alone. The problem is external hiring can be risky. Our tools in this step focus on what you can do to ensure that your search leads you to a candidate who meets your leadership priorities, is a fit for your organization's culture, and is set up for success upon arrival. Number five, monitoring and improving practices. Effective organizations look both at their results and the process they use to get there so that they learn and get better over time. Using many of the same tools organizations put in place to track programmatic progress, we'll give you tips to put together a progress monitoring plan for your leadership development efforts. At the heart of all this hard work comes the creation of your organization's Plan A. You create a Plan A by combining your future needs assessment, which has identified the skills your leaders will need and how they will be applied to current and brand new positions, with your performance potential matrix, which has identified the employees in your organization who are most ready to begin to develop those skills and take on those positions. Using the 70-20-10 plans you have created, you can estimate when each candidate might be ready to assume a leadership position, and you can fill in any gaps with outside hires. Of course, the reason we call it a Plan A is that in the dynamic world of nonprofit management, circumstances are always changing, in which case, you may need to fall back on a plan B, but having a plan A will turn haphazard, sporadic professional development into focused, strategic leadership development. It will help you in your conversations within the senior team and board, and it will make your organization's leadership pipeline stronger. This toolkit is based on extensive research, as well as over a decade of experience working with nonprofits on leadership issues, but we want to continue to grow and evolve. So as you complete this toolkit, Feel free to send in anything you create with questions, suggestions for improvements or additions, and any other feedback you'd like to share. Thanks for watching.